2014 is one for the record books for Music for All and Bands of America's Grand Nationals. We have hit 94 bands in prelims before, but when you start adding in the other units that are here, Eric Martin, CEO, we've got a record-breaking year. It is really a record-breaking year, Dan. 94 bands in row, and unfortunately, it breaks my heart that there are two who are still on the waiting list this year, and we had 10 bands that were participants last night in the Indianapolis Marching Band Tournament, at four collegiate bands, and the U.S. Army Band, and that puts us at 109. Wow, most units ever at BOA Grand Nationals. That's fantastic. To, to what do you attribute that? I think that some of it is just the general support that's going on for music education. You know, we had a long economic recovery that has taken place. I think that people have found the new normal. I think that I'm also very proud of our staff, our team, our judges, everyone associated with Music for All for having made a difference to make sure that this is the preeminent place for bands to perform and to show just what they, they can achieve. Each Wednesday night, we do start with the Indiana Indianapolis Public Schools Marching Band Tournament. Like you say, that's grown to 10 bands. What has that meant to the Indianapolis music community? You know, in Indianapolis, beyond the music community, this is the world's greatest facility for events like this. And it's a product, and, it's, and I like to say built on the shoulders of Hoosiers, locally and across the state, for our bands to be able to come in and play on the same field that Andrew Luck plays on, that means that this is their home, this is our home. From a musical standpoint, it's a statement that you are and deserve to be in the same space, to have the same access and opportunity that bands from across the nation who might have better or stronger resources have. This is your home and your space. Our friends from the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade come every year. They look at the semifinalist bands and they do a little scouting for their parade. They're going to be in-house this week, this year too, right? Yes, they will be here and uh, we've had a tradition that happening over the last three or four years where they select a semifinalist uh, automatically to go to the Tournament of Roses Parade the following year, one year later. And so that's an, an opportunity that they're here and we're looking forward to that. Awesome. And of course, the BOA Honor Band and has marched in the Tournament of Roses Parade, too. They have, and uh, I encourage everyone to really tune in and look at the presentation when they present the uh, semifinalist award because they may be making some other special announcement that might be cool. Fans of America CEO Eric Martin being a little bit cagey there, but I have a feeling there's going to be a big announcement from the Tournament of Roses people tonight. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Dan.